This is Markivus Furious Nias, and you're listening to Deeper Than Music Radio. Deeper Than Music. The core of you, the fans, the truth, is deeper than music. Deeper than music. Simply the truth is the link to the new biz. It's deeper than music. Deeper than music. The core of you, the fans, the truth, is deeper than music. Deeper than music. Simply the truth is the link to the new biz. It's deeper than what up, what up, what up, it's your man, Markivas, deeper than music radio, behind every great song, there's an even greater story, I like to say what's up to everybody listening to us, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world and what time you're listening to this podcast, I like to say what's up to everybody listening to us on Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and the many platforms that we're podcasted on uh ladies and gentlemen deeper than music is all about the music it's all about creators and people that are you know pushing their talent forward um today we have a very special guest i actually saw this brother um during the oscars night at suwang's oscars gala uh he's a rock pop and recording artist also with his music he's pushing boundaries in the music that he makes and creates and then also he has a um a fundraiser that he's having uh that is going to be the money generated is going to go to the wicked witch foundation ladies and gentlemen we have wicked witch here on deeper than music radio wicked witch how you doing man what's up what's up everything cool man everything cool good good man and again uh thank you for coming out and being on deeper than music radio my first question is uh i seen you at the su wong uh oscar gala man what what brought you there and what did you think about the gala Oh man, Su Wong is a real good friend of mine And, you know, I came there as an artist as well I had my meet and greet there And at the same time, you know, I was helping Su Wong with the event So, you know, I was doing both, <laughs> you know, that night Very busy too Yeah, yeah, and it was uh, a lot of people, man A lot of people uh, My first question, uh, Wicked Witch The story behind yeah. the name and what are you bringing to uh, music? Oh man, I'm just gonna bring a lot of, just a lot of pain, you know, that's what I'm bringing. But like, to, you know, to speak on that, you know, I mean, you know, I just been through a lot, you know, as far as music, just a lot of energy I'm bringing, you know, I'm human, you know, happy, yeah. sad, angry, just, just bringing everything. Okay. You know? Okay. And, uh, so I also wanted to ask because you also do rock and pop music and um I listened to one of your tracks and it it, it was like a mashup of trap, uh screamo and then it had like melodic nursery rhyme uh kind of a cadence to it. Um how old were you when you first got into music and and when your journey began? Like how old were you when you got into music and knew that you wanted to be a musical artist? Ever since I was 10 years old, that's when I knew I was supposed to do music. Mm -hmm. I looked up to a lot of different artists, but my mother work ethic made me get to the, you know, to the level and point where I am right now. Okay. And uh, I was listening to Criss Cross. Okay. You know, Shaheem, the Rugged Child, Wu-Tang, Onyx. And, you know, me and my sister, we would always write music. I made a Street Fighter song. And ever since I did that, I was like, whoa, it, it sounds pretty good. You know, I feel like I'm supposed to do music. And I stayed focused on it, never stopped it, kept going. And that's, and that's what I want the kids and people to know. When you do music and you want to reach far, just keep going. Don't stop. Anytime you stop, that's when nothing happened. But, yeah. you know, as far, you know, I love music like everyone else and it's a passion. Wow. And you mentioned some like, man, Criss Cross, Shaheem, the Rugged Child. Man, I remember, yeah, uh, like one for the money, two for the show. So he was like a real <laughs> affiliate. Man, some classics. So um, were they your influencers, your influences, or did you have any other influences like musically? Well, my, like you know, like I said, my mother is her work ethic. She worked so hard. She had a lot of different jobs out there. But you know, I, I just like seeing the artists' music videos on TV. I was like, wow, I could see myself like that. 
Yeah. You know, I never wanted to be exactly like them because I always felt like and always knew who I was as a person. Mm-hmm. But always visioned myself on the, you know, the big stages and doing music videos, doing charity work, inspiring the kids, and and it's happening now on, on the grace of God. Well, yeah, and um, so you mentioned like hip hop acts, but you also do rock and pop. Um, when you initially first became an artist, was it strictly hip hop, or how did the the mashing of different different genres happen along your journey? I started off doing hip hop and rap and I've been doing it for quite a while and I'm like, okay, I'm getting far, but I wasn't really like getting too far, you know, being honest and all of a sudden, and, and this would, and this to answer your question too, um, what you said earlier about how I got my name Wicked Witch, I was hanging out, you know, with Ozzy and his peoples and it was a show that he had I was right there Hanging out with him And He just straight Baptized me And sprayed me down You know With a water hose And ever since then Wicked Wish Just came to be about Whoa 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 Hold on hold on That's hold on. how that came into play So you was at an Ozzy Osbourne uh, Concert And he, he sprayed you down Yeah I was actually like You know On the side Just hanging out With some of his peoples And yeah. that's how it happened Yeah That's another thing You know I started I'm um, doing rock. I, I just started doing rock. You know, mm-hmm. I, haven't, I haven't really been too long, so it's early. And what's been happening? I have a good friend of mine. His name is and shout out. You know, his wife Renee and her mom Carol. They was inviting me to events, which is called Rock Gods. Must be crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm meeting all type of people like Artie Rip, Al Smith. Legends in the game And I'm like whoa wow. You know I'm hearing their story And everything is just coming together Then yeah. all of a sudden I met up with Jeff Beck You know he's telling me about the Jeff Beck group And Rod Stewart And I'm like okay I'm meeting all these rock stars it, it, Like <laughs> am I supposed to be doing rock And yeah. you know everything is just Coming into play you know then all of a sudden you know the hate came through too i ain't gonna say they names or whatever they ain't getting no props but certain rock rockers started hating too but you know it's all good i just do me don't really worry about none of that and then you know i got shout out my dog davy oberlin he produced my new single molly and he's a live keyboardist in the rock band corn oh corn okay yeah yeah, we're familiar with yeah he's in corn Mm-hmm. Man, so, yeah, so so you get sprayed by Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, yeah, and that's when the you the Genesis was like, yo, I'm I'm gonna do this rock, do this rock thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, what yeah, is the difference? Between... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I hate. You. I was gonna say like, what is the difference between the rock crowd and the hip hop crowd? Because we, you know, you remember back in the day, was it um, Onyx did the uh, the slam with Biohazard, and you know, you hear about these rock shows, but you seen it firsthand. Like, what's the difference between like the energy between rock and hip hop? I would say like hip hop, they're a little bit wild, but they a little bit more relaxed. A little bit, you might see like. A couple fights <laughs> okay. But when you in the Rock concert Everybody I'm talking about people In the nosebleed session You could They just all going wild From the front to the middle To the back And everyone is just fighting Like you know it's wild Everyone is just Everyone is fighting But at the same time They just loving the music And you know just being supportive you know, the music just make you do all type of things. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you because I know that there's a handful of, you know, we had Lenny Kravitz. Um, oh, man, I can't remember their names. The brothers that in the 80s, man. I can't remember their name. I can't believe I had a. Uh... But anyways, so in the, in, the, in, the, in the rock game, when you say hate, man, it, it, was it was it because you were like a rapper going into the the, the rock game? Was that some of the hate that you were getting? 
I, I I would I would say that too, but a little bit. It, it was just certain rock stars that was just seeing like, okay, we see this wicked witch guy, we know he's about to do something, so they just want to kind of make themselves known, mm-hmm. you know. But on the other end, it's 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 a lot of people that seeing me around some of their. You know some of the people that they looked up to, and they like, yo, who this guy think he is being around Alice Cooper? You know, I had I had did an event with Alice Cooper. Shout out to Alice Cooper too, great guy. Mm-hmm. He's amazing too. You know, and um, a lot of people hit me up like, yo, who you think you are being around this person? And how how how, how did you do it? And and what do they? You know, see in you, and you know, I don't pay attention to none of that. I just do me, yeah. be focused, and j- just keep it moving. You know, I got other stuff I got to do. Yeah, you know? no, 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 no doubt. And I also heard that you you hung out with Marilyn Manson. Oh man, he he's cool, man. I, I like Marilyn. He, yeah. He's cool. <laughs> no, that, that, that was a crazy night, and and you know he um shout out gil sharon you know he he was marilyn manson's drummer and you know he gave me his drumstick and marilyn manson actually like threw his microphone you know to me at the end of his show after he did you know sweet dreams and everything man so that was amazing i picked it up and was like wow man so that's another thing the way i'm like man you know wicked witch is here yeah it's what it is i'm supposed to be right here it's right here this is my home Man, and we we talked about you know the people because I mean, man, you 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 mentioned some legends, you 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 know some amazing people. Uh, one of my questions is, uh, like, out of all these things that you've done, man, what has been the like the so far in your career, like, man, the most wildest like wow moment that you kind of had to st- stand behind yourself and like, is this really happening right now? Oh man, I would really have to say just at every moment what was just happening right now. You know, when I met Jeff Beck and um, you know, Godsmack, shout out to Godsmack. They Godsmack is real cool, real cool. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of stories with these people. Um, who else? Jason Cruz from Strong Out, shout him out. You know, he showed me love. Billy Morrison. You, you know, you could catch Wicked Witch at his red carpet event. You know, you'll see me out there with Billy Idol, Dave, you know, from the Red Red Hot Chili Peppers. I mean, it's just, it's just a, you know, every everything is just amazing, you know. Everything is amazing. Man, so uh, you you talking Billy Idol, man. That's 80s classic right there, man. So you, yeah. you, got, you got to hang out with Billy Idol, man. All of them, man. Even in Tommy Rue. You know, he had the song Dizzy and Sheila. Yeah. That he's he's an, an an amazing guy, you know. He's like pushing 80 and was like, Wicked Witch, man. You know, I'm working on my single right now. I just wanted to cry when we had to separate because this guy was so cool. And I'm like, wow, you 80, 80 years old and you still dropping music? You know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, that's where I'm going to be. I'm, I'm going to be doing that. Yeah. So, you know, Tommy Rowe definitely inspired me, too. Wow, wow. And um, you know, you talked a little bit about the hate. I mean, but bro. besides <laughs> that, it's like what has been out of all this out of your career, what has been like the most challenging moment, man? A time was like, man, this is this is a hurdle I need to get through. I mean just I just be focused, man. I, I just really be focused. Like I just love any kind of challenge, you know. I'm I'm gonna still get through everything and then any, anything yeah you know so i just have fun with everything man there is every challenge is just it's just fun yeah. i could just say i did i did go through a lot on the way up you know i could definitely say that but you know i passed that and i'm looking for the i'm looking ahead you know yeah and I'm you um, just keep going mm-hmm. i guess like another question i had so we talked about the hate from and I don't want to concentrate on it. It's just like I feel like because you're in a space with there's not too many people doing what you're doing. Like people recognize, like you you have a unique sound. Um, like did you get any flack from the hip hop community, or they just embraced it, man? Because I know we like corn is um corn is very uh rock rap. Uh, you had Limp Bizkit rock. I feel like rap is more embracing of it 
did you get any flag from the hip hop community or the only people that was coming to me is like the OGs in the game. You know, they like, dude, you doing your thing. You know, so as long as I feel like I'm doing whatever I have to do in the OGs and the rock, rock and roll industry, you know, respect it. You know, I'm good. Yeah. But but at the same time, you know, I, as long as I feel like it's good, that's all that matters. But, you know, Mm -hmm. just respect to the OGs. They do come to me and be like, man, you're doing your thing. And you do sound like this, you know, a little bit. And and it sounds like rap rock. You know, I could do some music with you. And, you know, it's it's a lot of music on the way, too. You know, so a lot of people coming to me, man. And and they loving the movement. They loving everything Wicked Witch is doing. So I don't really be focused on what people really think. If you love it, you love it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, it's gonna nah. be a million people that love you, a million people that don't. So I don't really be focused on that. Like I really don't. Yeah, and you know what? And, that's and, not my and, job. Like that's nah, not my and job. It, and the thing is, like the nature of the beast, you know how it is, man. And this industry is very competitive. But you, you being blessed, man, and people are paying attention to what you're doing. You in the light with, you know, with good company, um, which leads me to the next question, man. What is 2020, man? What can we expect from w- Wicked Witch? Oh, man, you can expect the Wicked Witch Foundation, Wicked Witch artwork. I'm going to be dropping EPs, LPs, singles albums it's just so much in the works right now i got my merch you know i got my t-shirts jackets hoodies hats long sleeve it's it's a lot you know new music new music videos man and that's what's up and i also wanted to talk about your fundraiser man could you tell the uh, listeners about your fundraiser coming up yes it is called wicked witch foundation right and a little bit about that as a child you know growing up i always had a passion for music acting modeling i'm going to inspire the unsigned talent guide them and you know that's what the wicked witch is all about it's about inspiring guiding and providing resources i'm offering you know opportunities to experience the fashion the music industry through red carpet and networking events and I'm raising money because, you know, as we spoke about earlier, I'm not going to lie. Keep it 100. Sue Wong tickets is off the chain. That's my homegirl. We mad cool. Well, her tickets was off the chain. And yeah. it, it did start at 295 So a little bit about that. I need y'all out there. You know, we, we got to help each other. I help you. You help me. And vice versa. So I'm raising money basically to have the unsigned artists, the unsigned models, actors. So y'all all can experience the red carpet, you know? So like, let's say if I get 1500 I raise 1500 I'll buy five tickets, you know, and get y'all out there and walk the red carpet. You could meet, you know, different celebrities out there and... See see what it what it is to feel that way and, and to keep going. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't ever give up. Because you know, you, you gotta be out there to see how it is. You know? And and I would definitely be there to help you. Wicked Wish will sit here and help and do as much as I can. You know, I gotta be focused on what I gotta do, but with especially with the Wicked Wish Foundation, you are part of that, man. You you got me. I'll help you all day. Mm-hmm. Let's make it happen. So, um, in regards to the Wicked Wick Foundation um, and everything you're doing, where can listeners hear more about you, man? Where are you on Instagram, uh, future appearances? This is shameless promotion time for Wicked Witch. Yeah, you could definitely hit me up on IG. I am Wicked Witch. That's I A M W I C K E D W I T C H. Hit up my Patreon. At I am Wicked Witch And another thing too I'm launching the Wicked Witch Art Fundraiser Where I'm creating handmade artwork That's available to purchase too My artwork is inspired by my life story And you know Painting always been a way to relax my mind So that's another project That I have The single Molly 
featuring Davey Oberlin and produced by him. He did my ad libs too. So when you hear a guy screaming in the back, that's Davey right there from Corn. So oh, okay, so you got Corn in the background screaming, huh? And oh my gosh, the ad libs is crazy. Man, man. So y'all be hearing that soon. You know, you could purchase the single and it's gonna be a lot of music ahead. Music videos, all of that. You know, Prince is gonna be Wicked Witch signed Prince, you know, as far as my artwork. And you know, it's a lot ahead. So stay focused, you know, follow. Follow. So there you go, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Wicked Witch here on Deeper Than Music Radio. My last question and again, thank you for taking the time to be on the show, man. I, I appreciate it, man. And keep That's doing what up. you're doing, man. What does mu- what does music mean to Wicked Witch? It, it means a lot to me. It means a lot. Music is definitely it would definitely it soothes your mind, it takes care of your pain, it takes care of everything. And, and it mean a lot to me You know when I'm sad I listen to music and it makes me feel better Music yeah. is the remedy there Music you go. is the remedy So it means a lot There you go ladies and gentlemen Wicked Witch Here on Deeper Than Music Radio Um, I don't know uh, and what's the location of the fundraiser Where people could go and check it out You could check out The GoFundMe.com Backslash Wicked Witch Foundation, and there we go. And ladies the and artwork gentlemen. is GoFundMe.com backslash Wicked Witch artwork. There you go. You have it here. Deep in the music radio, another great interview with a great talent. A lot in the future, man. And just you already in the presence of, of legends, man. So I know that's gonna rub off on you, man. A big year, 2020. Ladies and gentlemen. Mark Evis and Wicked Witch here signing off on Deeper Than Music Radio. Yeah. <laughs> Deeper Than Music. The core of you, the fans, the truth is deeper than music. Deeper than music. Simply the truth is the link to the new is deeper than music. Deeper than music. The core of you, the fans, the truth is deeper than music. Deeper than music. Simply the truth is the latest, the newest. It's deeper than music. Deeper than music.